Hi, I'm Ellie Green, video games editor for the Comic Book Bin. Today, we're going to show you how to set up an Xbox 360. First, we're going to take a look at some of the accessories that come with the Xbox 360. You've got the controller. In this case, it's a black one because I have the Elite system. And you've got the AV cables. Also, because I have the Elite system, and these also come with a premium, I've got the component cables here which do up to 1080i resolution on the screen. It's a very high resolution. Then with the Premium and the Elite and as well the Halo Edition you get the headset and an Ethernet cable. And then just with the Elite you get this which is an audio cable for when you're using the HDMI cable to output up to 1080p video which is the highest resolution that the 360 can go to and of course the HDMI cable itself and these two and those two only come with the Elite finally of course you've got the uh, power supply power cables and the 360 and in this case it comes with the 120 gigabyte hard drive you won't get any hard drive if you get the core system, so remember that if you're looking into getting an Xbox 360. We're going to start by untying the cables here, obviously. And we're going to just start with the most basic setup, which is with the regular AV cables, your red, yellow, and white cable. Now the good thing is Microsoft really does give you quite a bit of length with the cables and if you have a premium elite or halo edition model of the 360 you'll see this I don't know if you can get this mic but you'll see this little switch here it says TV or HD TV and depending on how you're setting it up you're going to want to either have the switch set to TV or HD TV for high definition right now we're just setting it up with the most basic regular TV connection. going to connect into the back of the 360. Slides in. Filter our cables around as best we can. And Mike, if you want to follow me here, around to the back. I'll turn on the light here. And we've got the red, yellow, and white connection. And because I'm hooking this up to my computer, well, I've got special connections. But, of course, anybody who's setting this up to the TV, it would pretty much look the exact same. Set up the yellow into the yellow, the red into the red, and the white into the white. Easy. And then we're going to set up the power block. And... Well, the Xbox 360 does use a lot of power, so it needs a pretty big power block. Untie that. Put the power block in a good position. And remember, you're going to want the Xbox 360 to have plenty of room to, well, breathe, per se, because it does generate quite a bit of heat. I'm going to put the power block down over here. Plug in, and you want to be careful when you're doing this. Don't want to drop your Xbox 360 or anything like that. Plug into the Xbox 360. Get my power cable. Take off the cap, obviously. Plug this end into the power block just like so make sure the connections are firm you want them all the way into the power block there and as well into the Xbox 360 don't have anything pinching the cables or wrapping around them too hard in any way you don't want anything accidentally stepping on your cables when you're uh, connecting it or any time when it's connected, or at all, really. 
because you don't want something to hurt the connection. All right, and now we've pretty much got the Xbox 360 set up. There's not a lot you have to do really, because it's really like setting up a DVD player or a VCR or any other gaming system for that matter. So we've got the controller here. I'm just going to put the batteries in because otherwise we don't have any control. And don't worry, it's clearly marked on the battery casing which way's up and which way's down, or po positive and negative. Simply goes in like that, load it in, snaps in. Real simple. What I'm going to do, because we're using my computer to do this, is I'm going to go into my program. And obviously, if you're using your TV for this, all you have to do is turn on your TV, go into whatever input you've set up the Xbox to, turn it on, and you're going to be set to go. And there it goes. And there we go. Now my computer's running a little bit slow because I'm recording this, but essentially all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my controller by holding down the X button in the middle of it, up comes the menu, and we're going to start setting it up. We've got a lot of different languages we can choose from, but obviously I speak English and read English, so we're going to go with that. Just press the A button to continue. Our locale is Canada. So we're going to go all the way up there. Select that. And we can set up a new profile for Xbox Live audience. Very, very quick. So, I've set up a special account, uh, a special email account, just so we can do this. And join Xbox Live. Oh, I forgot to set up my internet connection. So, what we're going to do next is I'm going to connect the internet cable. And again, if you don't, if you got a core, it's not going to come with this. So, you might want to get a premium. Unwrap the internet, the Ethernet cable here. Connect it to the back of the system. Just so easily. Snaps into the Ethernet port. Looks sort of like a phone jack if you've never seen an Ethernet port before. Don't worry about it, man. And I've got a router here for my internet connection, so. I'm just going to take one of the connections out, plug right in, there we go, all set up. And now we should easily be able to continue. And now it's checking that work status. So it has to update. We'll just do that now. And it's going to connect. And depending on how big the updates are, it might take a little less or more time to update. But right now, looks like it's a pretty small update. And I do have a fast connection, so it's going to be pretty quick. And there we go.